Herb's coat. Dumped it in a garbage can around the corner. There's blood all over it. Did you make my night tell me you found the victim's ID? Sorry. Either it's toast or the fire department washed away with the rest of our evidence. About all I saw was his hood and his beard and what he did to my husband. We're going to need your coat for evidence, Mr. Limber. I'm due for a new one anyway. And we'll have you work with a sketch artist. Give me a minute. No idea on the victim. Uh, one of the precinct cops recognized her as a hooker who works 9th and 10th Avenue. I guess she picked up the wrong John. Malloy, you a special victim? Yeah, Benson Stabler. You're perp. Pile the mound of garbage on a victim and lit it up. How much damage? Her back is charred. If our house wasn't right around the corner, she'd be well done, both sides. Thanks, Cap. Genitals are mutilated. Fluids present, definitely one for you. Uh, what else? Full thickness burns to 50% of her body. All post-mortem. How can you tell? A slit her throat to the spine, a fillet her torso from neck to genitals. No way she survived that. Butchered. And barbecued. Victim's ID is Cassie Horner, 23, busted numerous times for prostitution. Anything more on the perp? White, dark coat, about six feet. Witness descriptions have him under the influence. A level of violence sounds like PCP. What about the car that almost ran him over? Could have saved us a lot of trouble. Took off. Nobody got his plate number. That leaves four people who got a good look at our perp. Plus all the working girls who saw Cassie pick this guy up. What about the labs? Prints in a magazine he tore up and a peanut car. Don't match anyone in the system. <sighs> Autopsy. No way to the ME to check. OK, Cassie Horner worked 9th and 10th Avenues. Pay her colleagues a visit. Calling on courtesans, our specialty. Hey, we're just standing here. We don't want no trouble, baby. How about some coffee after a hard night's work? Mm -hmm. What's your name? Honey, honey. You're giving handouts. You must want something. We're not vice. We're here about Cassie. This is when you care what happens to us. Hey, we just spent 17 bucks of our own money on coffee and donuts for you and your friends. If that's not respect, I don't know what is. They're cool. They want to know about Cassie. Is it past quitting time? Slow night. Well, someone ought to do that sick bastard the way he did Cassie. Anybody see Cassie leave with her last trick? Yeah, beard, crazy eyes. He walked over to her, they talked a moment. You heard what they said? Nah, just his name, Daniel. I told Cassie I had a bad feeling about him. She didn't heed your warning? She laughed, said she could take care of herself. I wonder who's going to take care of her little girl. Had a tough time with this one, the way he ripped her up and burned her. What'd you find? 42 stab wounds, plus the cut to the throat, the incision to the torso. Lab found one blood type on the coat, the victim's. What about the knife? Uh, double edge, serrated on one side, six to eight inches long. Military souvenir or collector's blade? The killer is a knife connoisseur. Whatever he is, he was in a frenzy, like some kind of fever. Mm, yeah, a fever that spikes at night. We got something. What's up? Lab got a DNA hit from the sex offender database on the semen found in Cassie Horner. Norman Fredericks, 30, on parole for rape, possession with intent to sell, living on Staten Island. Has a job now with a contractor. Paul Mary has got the address of the job he's working on now. He grew a beard. Didn't have that when he was arrested. Got plenty of time to grow one in prison. Munch and Finn are almost done with the sketch artist and the witnesses. I'm going to send them as backup. Pick up a whore, so what? So it's a parole violation, pal. Well, you're going to send me back upstate just for that. Then we're going to send you back for slicing up a hooker when you were done with her. Up anybody. What time did you get home? Uh, in the door by 2.30 a.m. Uh -huh. And how'd you get there? Uh, number one train to the Staten Island Ferry, then my car. We, we did our thing, I paid her and left. I swear, I didn't. Don't make yourself at home, we'll be right back. Fredericks is a busy guy. What happened? Another victim, murdered last night. Passing by all day and no one notices until the roommate comes home and finds her. Where's the roommate? No view emergency. She was in shock, so we had a radio car take her in. 14 years on the job, first time I saw a body and puked. Herp did a real number on her. Oh, man. How long has she been dead? At least 12 hours. Handy works the same as the last victim, only worse. Another pro, short black skirt, high heels. He slits their throats so they can't scream. I'm washing my hands, the kids at the urinal. The guy comes in and starts screaming about the machines controlling the boy's mind. Pulls out a knife, slits his throat. Ah, just like that. Did he go after you next? I went after him. Tried to grab the knife. He got me in the stomach. That's when the boy's father comes in. What happened? He never saw the guy with the knife. He runs straight for his kid, starts screaming. I'm yelling at him about the knife. Then the guy slices his neck. I couldn't do nothing. It's plenty. Take it easy. We're going to ride with him. Yeah, all right. 
<clears throat> what took you so long? Well, we were in Queens. We found the cab driver. Wong is on his way. He says he can profile more accurately if he's on the scene. The radio said two victims? Well, almost three. Good Samaritan got stabbed in the gut trying to stop him. Who's she? Uh, this is uh, Jean Weston. It's her husband and son caught up in there. The tourists. I thought he was targeting pros. How old's the kid? Nine. Son of a bitch. <sighs> Mrs. Weston, I'm Detective Stabler. I... Josh, just wanted to play video games. Uh, we're going back to Oregon tomorrow morning. I, I have to go pack. Okay, well, I, I tell you what, we're gonna have the officer take you to the hospital first and just have you checked out. Okay? Four victims within 24 hours, three in the theater district, Times Square area, one in the East Village, and a serial killer we can't profile because he strikes at random. Doesn't get much worse than this. Nobody is safe until we collar this guy. Chief Sullivan. The city is terrified, and the public doesn't give a rat's ass how much we brought crime down, as long as this guy is out there. I want to thank all of you who came in on your own time. Clock in. We need all the help we can get. Captain Cragen runs the task force and reports directly to me. The phone bank is being set up. With the reward up to 100,000, we're going to be flooded with tips. We investigate every one. You have your assignments. Let's find this guy. Thanks. Judge signed the warrant. Hutch and Finn are on their way to toss Varney's room. Trimmed his beard. Look at his hands. Daniel? Yes, I'm Daniel. Hi. You talk to you a second? Who are you? We're the police. There's avenging angels on them. I just want to ask you a question. In the presence of the Lord, you cannot, you cannot lie. In the, you cannot lie in the presence of the Lord. He sent you to judge me? No, no, not to judge you. To help you. Why? I served him. I was I, They were unclean, and I cleansed them in their own blood. I saved a child. Oh, that was pure. Daniel, Daniel. Come with us. Come with us. Wasn't I good enough? Was I good enough? Why did you send your angels to me? Why do you want to destroy me? I bring them your message. I was like, they were unclean. Oh, why? Why do you send your angels for me? Why? Why do you want to destroy me when I bring them your message? No, not to destroy you. He wants to reward you. He will judge me! Our Father who in heaven, hallowed be the name of the kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. In heaven. Day, this is day of the 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 day Daniel yeah. yeah, Barney. I use the kingdom. You're the under power. arrest for murder. Forever and ever. I'm here. Pray right. with me. Silent. How long ago? Forgive me. You got that right? How long ago? I'm safe. And it will be used against you in a court of law. My God. Consider it. My God.